It's amazing they don't fly off. Have you ever had one? Have you ever had one fly off on you? Every now and then they have an option too, but we put a lot of time into training this, so uh -huh. it's very unlikely, but it does happen every now and then. And do they come back when they fly off? Yeah, if they, they fly do. off, they're literally just sitting in this tree screaming for us. So okay. Know where you guys have never seen them fly ever before, and they're for part of that experience. We are going to fly our macaws in a circle right around the manatee fountains. And if you guys are standing in the right spot, you'll have the opportunity to have the birds fly right over your head. So it's a very exclusive, very cool, unique experience for our birds and our guests as well. And we're going to get to start with that right around 2 o'clock. So this is going to be a couple minutes, but I'll do another announcement right before we get started. And if you guys have any questions in the meantime, you can come on over and let me know. Hey, excuse me. The, the birds and the eagles, do you have a here and find home elsewhere? The birds stay here, the birds that are in the zoo. None of them ever take off and just They fly back. somewhere, but they come back. Oh. Then they fly off, then we just go, we drive around and we find them. Do they see them on the other side of the river? Like, yeah. Like 40, I know my neighbor had a, a big eagle. Mm -hmm. In his tree, I don't really have a nest there or what. Yeah, he, he, he said he might have got away from over here. That's yeah, most of the birds they get away from here, we find them pretty quickly. They if they're the big birds, then they have what's called telemetry on them. So if they, 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 uh, it's like a tracking device, and we're, we're able to find them. Um, any of the birds that we can free flight and stuff with, the macaws don't have that, but they're small and loud enough where we can find them pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, everyone. Once again, hopefully you guys are all having a fabulous day here at Zoo Tampa at Lowry Park. My name is Bo. I am a part of our animal ambassador team, and we are getting ready to start our macaw flyover for this afternoon. So if you guys have never been a part of our flyover experience, we're going to release our macaws, and they're going to fly around the manatee circle of the manatee loop right here, right in front of us. So if you guys are standing anywhere on this black pavement or this black top, you will have the opportunity to have the birds fly right over your head. Very unique, up close experience. If you would like to watch the flyover, but you don't want the birds to fly over your head, then I would suggest standing or sitting on either side of the black pavement. But if you are on the black pavement, if you're on the black top, the birds will be flying right over your head. So make sure you keep your hands to your side. Now, of course, we couldn't do the flyover without the macaws. It'd be very, very difficult for us to do that. We've got five macaws joining us today. We've got three blue and gold macaws. Those are going to be the blue and yellow ones that come down. We've also got two scarlet macaws. Those are going to be the red ones. So we've actually got two different species of macaw flying with us right now. It's out of 17 different species. And you can find those macaws if they're in the wild, you would be able to find them in the rainforest of Central and South America, as well as Mexico. Those birds do live in the rainforest, so when the rainforest is destroyed, that can be a huge problem for them. That can cause them to lose their homes. And also when they're brought into, um, into the illegal pet trade, that can also be very detrimental to them. A lot of those species of macaws are endangered, but there is a lot we can do to help them out. Just by coming to the zoo today, you guys have already taken a great step towards that. Just by walking through the front doors, part of the proceeds go to helping the zoo's conservation program. So just by being here, you guys have already helped a lot of different animals. So thank you very, very much for joining us at the zoo here today. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can look for Rainforest Friendly Virgins, a products like coffee or chocolate, or other products that impact the rainforest when they're made. You can also do something as simple as recycle. There are recycling bins all over the zoo, recycling bins in other areas as well. You can do it in a lot of other areas in the public and at home as well. So there's a lot of different opportunities we can take to help out not only the macaws, but a lot of the animals in the zoo. Now, before we do release our macaws, you may have heard them or seen them coming up there on top of our Nature's Kingdom gift shop. I do have one very special guest I have to introduce to you. Over on my left hand side, we have Jack joining us today. Jack's got a nice light blue shirt on. Jack, you wanna wave to everyone? Yeah, that's Jack right there. Jack has a very, very important job. He's got a big red button in front of him. And when he presses that button, that is what is going to release the macaws. So Jack is controlling the show today. Jack's calling the shots. But there's a lot of you here. I want to make sure we're all on the same page. I don't want anyone to miss anything. So we're going to help Jack out. We're just going to do a small, simple countdown from five to one. That way, when we hit one, Jack will then hit the button, and we can all watch the birds together. Does that sound good for everyone? Does that sound like that'll work? Do you guys think you can help me count down? It's really easy, just five to one. So if you guys are ready, I know Jack's ready, I know our bird's ready, we can get started. We can go five, four, three, two, one. All 
right, guys. So that was our flyover for this afternoon. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Now we're going to take, thank you very much, we're going to take the birds back along this pathway. So if you see us continue along the path, that's what we're doing. We're just taking the birds home. You guys are more than welcome to follow us along the way or ask us any questions. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day here at Tampa at Lowry Park.